Hi, I'm Lisa Hirschman, a member of the Board of Directors for the Center for Interactive Learning and Collaboration, also known as CILC. If you believe that education is much more than merely acquiring knowledge, and that museums and other informal education centers are powerhouses that educate, enhance, and challenge the minds of all who interact with them, and if you want to support an organization that seeks to improve the quality of life for older adults, then the Center for Interactive Learning and Collaboration is worthy of your consideration. CILC was formed in 1994 for the express purpose of advancing interactive video conferencing to engage learners in formal and informal learning experiences. In 2011, we expanded our services to include providing similar lifelong learning opportunities for older adults. We exist to create immersive learning experiences that engage scholars in worlds beyond their current communities. Our website, CILC.org, has the country's most trusted clearinghouse of informal education content providers who use interactive video conferencing as a part of their educational outreach. For example, do you live in San Francisco but want to participate in an event at the Manhattan School of Music? If you have access to video conferencing, then you can join the masses who take advantage of these kinds of live interactive experiences. But you might also like to visit the Smithsonian American Art Museum, Moat Marine Laboratory, the Royal Botanical Gardens in Canada, the Bronx Zoo, or a long list of many other libraries and centers of history, culture, and science content. All of these resources are available through CILC's Clearinghouse for video conferencing sessions where you can see and interact with experts in real time. Repeatedly, we're told that if CILC failed to exist, then video conferencing programs in museums and cultural communities would either fail or be severely impaired. We're their link to schools and the growing number of retirement communities who want to connect, learn, and experience the rich knowledge housed there. Like many small nonprofits, CILC struggles financially to meet the demands and expectations of the thousands of educators who come to depend on our services. School budgets are notoriously tight, and museums and other places of informal learning often struggle with budget constraints too. There simply isn't enough money for either group to pay the true cost of services that CILC provides. If, like me, you also believe that the wealth of content housed in our museums, zoos, science and cultural centers can be a fundamental catalyst for creating engaged and lifelong learning experiences, then your philanthropic support of CILC is crucial. On behalf of all of us at the Center for Interactive Learning and Collaboration, I sincerely thank you for taking the time to hear our story and for your consideration of supporting our work.